In the lead-up to the release of The Last Jedi, we learn that during his exile upon Acto, Luke Skywalker was wearing a necklace containing a red kyber crystal. Because the current canon has established that red kyber crystals are created through the bleeding or corrupting of a kyber crystal with the dark side of the force, it was clear that the kyber crystal worn by Luke was connected to the dark side in some way. But was it Darth Vader's crystal as speculated prior to the release of the film? Or did Luke perhaps corrupt a kyber crystal of his own, symbolizing his fall to the dark side between episode 6 and episode 8? In this video expose, I will explain the origins of Luke's red kyber crystal necklace, how he was able to obtain it, and the importance the necklace has to Luke's character in The Last Jedi. Although it was confirmed within The Last Jedi Visual Dictionary that the red kyber crystal within Luke's necklace did previously belong to a Sith, it wasn't that used by Darth Vader. The necklace is a Jedi Crusader pendant that was worn by a former member of the Jedi Order and recovered by Luke. The red kyber crystal was worn by the Jedi Crusader as a trophy, symbolizing the Crusader having taken it from their dark side enemy and representing the victory of the light over the dark. Further, it's confirmed within the visual dictionary that the crystal is a fragmented Sith lightsaber crystal. This allows us to assume that the crystal was most likely taken from a Sith during an era in which they were large in number, most likely before the start of the lineage of Darth Bane's Rule of Two, roughly 1,000 years before the events of A New Hope. So how did Luke obtain the Jedi Crusader pendant? Following the defeat of the Galactic Empire at the Battle of Jakku, Luke embarked upon a journey to discover as much about the Jedi Order as he could, before reviving the Jedi through his own order, and passing his knowledge down to a new generation. Luke's quest brought him into contact with many pieces of Jedi lore, such as the ancient Jedi texts that were seen within the film. But Luke also discovered many ancient Jedi artifacts and relics that had been lost by the Order over the centuries. One such relic was the Jedi Crusader pendant worn by Luke, which again establishes that the necklace is likely from an ancient era where the ranks of the Sith were numerous and rivaled the Jedi. Although the existence of red kyber crystals within the new canon certainly represent a significant connection to the dark side, I don't believe that it symbolizes such a connection for Luke. I believe that he wore it for the same reason that the original Jedi Crusader did as a trophy of his accomplishments in defeating the dark side and a representation of his commitment to the light. As discussed in yesterday's video, Luke dedicated himself primarily to the teachings of the Jedi during the time of his own order, and therefore, like the Jedi who came before him, the pendant was a symbol of Luke's path that followed the light and fought against the dark. So there we have it, the origins of Luke's red kyber crystal necklace and how he obtained it. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. Or perhaps follow us on Twitter, at SWReadingClub, for updates regarding the channel. Or support the channel through Patreon, for access to exclusive hangouts and book discussions. If not for me... For Leather Bolo Slides!